Okay, um, Claudia, you're a museum director, a museum professional, uh, but you're also a citizen. So, as always, and you could feel it also from what I was just saying, as always, we, wearing, we are wearing different hats, including the hat of being a human being yes. <laughs> and having a personal experience that we, one way or the other, always bring to our work. So, um, in May, Lots of things happened in your city, not only in your city, but also in the region where your city is located in. Could you please share with the audience just some information of what are we talking about in the city of Faenza in May 23? Yes. First of all, uh, good morning and uh, thank you, Nemo, for uh, this opportunity of uh, sharing uh, uh, this story and uh, to continue talking about this story because uh, the tragedy happened last May, but uh, till today we have uh, families uh, without houses, uh, we have uh, problems uh, inside the museums, uh, so it's uh, a great opportunity to stay with you and to share what happened. So we had uh, two flooding, uh, the first one uh, the 3rd of May, and the big one, the 16th of May. And um, this, uh, uh, it, it happens that uh, the rivers uh, overflowed <laughs> and uh, many uh, um, roads uh, uh, collapsed. So there were around 9,000 uh, landslides. And uh, so it happens that um, I have the number, so more than uh, 150 churches were damaged, uh, 30 museum, 31 museum uh, collapsed, uh, 13 libraries, uh, uh, 20 uh, archives, uh, and uh, 90 historical places like theaters were uh, well damaged. And uh, the fact that uh, it happened and uh, we had uh, a kind of uh, alert two days uh, before, so that uh, uh, helped us uh, in a way to uh, not to have uh, many people died. So it was, uh, we were lucky because uh, many followed the rules, many followed what uh, uh, the organization, the policy was uh, telling people uh, to save uh, themselves uh, in the upper floors, but uh, that didn't happen to museum and historical places uh, um, because of, for example, castle, you cannot <laughs> take, uh, take it away from uh, the river, but uh, museum, for example, uh, we didn't have uh, an emergency plan. And that uh, was uh, very important that, and that was uh, the main basis of uh, what was this disaster. So we had uh, more than uh, uh, 7,000 people away from uh, the houses. Um, in, and your, in your city uh, or in the whole in, region? In my city, just 2,000. And uh, in the, that part of the region, uh, more than 7,000. So it's, uh, uh, so you, you know, Fenza is a small city, it's just uh, 50,000 inhabitants. And uh, so 2,000 were, uh, in, uh, uh, were um, hosted in a situation like gymnasium, uh, schools, uh, and uh, also museums. Because, uh, for example, uh, close to, to Ravenna, there is uh, this archaeological museum called uh, Classis. And uh, they, they, uh, uh, they suddenly uh, react and uh, put the, sp the spaces for people who lost the houses. So they hosted uh, 700 people and 200 animals. Because, uh, of course, the animal is a part of the family and they cannot leave them. And so, in this, you, you can see the images uh, of um, this museum, uh, which is uh, uh, collecting and which is uh, sharing together with uh, archaeological pieces, uh, the small uh, bed uh, with the animals uh, and the families. And uh, so, this, uh, this was uh, a way of reacting. So, uh, what... Uh, 
What was important uh, in uh, after uh, two days uh, of uh, this uh, tragedy, because it was a real tragedy, uh, after two days you can enter the city and uh, the red part of uh, the city. And uh, you see the immense uh, disaster and uh, you felt uh, the damage uh, to the people, to the families. Uh, and uh, it was uh, normal to act, so to react uh, and uh, to give uh, what was uh, uh, your resource, uh, your personal resource. I am an ICOM member and uh, we had a different uh, um, trainee for, uh, for example, in our region for the earthquake. So um, our museum was one of uh, um, the few that uh, created something um, a kind of emergency plan for earthquake. So we we know how to react. And uh, it was immediate that uh, we have to do something for uh, the museum, for uh, the libraries, uh, for the archives. And uh, so it was, in a, in a way, easy for me to um, create a kind of uh, network of uh, skilled volunteers that can uh, lead the volunteers in uh, this very bad situation. And uh, why I said so? Because uh, we had uh, the solidarity of many, many people arriving from uh, all Italy. And uh, it was fantastic because, uh, um, yes, there was this uh, big hug uh, from uh, everywhere. But you have uh, to uh, to control the volunteers and uh, to ask them uh, to proceed in a, a matter that is uh, different from uh, taking away the mud from a private house and from a museum. So you have to define what, the, what are the action to take. And um, the problem of uh, this uh, floating was um, was specific because it is it was not just the water, so it didn't arrive just the water but the mud, and um, it is uh, uh, sad to say that uh, this uh, clay that made uh, Faenza and uh, his territory very famous for uh, the ceramic, it became uh, the great tragedy of the territory because uh, the mud was uh, so thin and tough that uh, arrived and covered everything. And uh, the problem was the drying of this mud, because uh, you have to react very quickly, otherwise uh, this uh, was a kind of cement. And uh, it, is, it, it takes time to take it away. So, uh, as a museum, we try to, to make this uh, network together with the Academy, uh, Academy of Fine Arts in Bologna and the University of Ravenna. They had uh, uh, this uh, professional on restoration and uh, we created different groups that can support uh, the, especially the private museum, and uh, to give them uh, a real, a concrete support in uh, uh, washing, washing especially plaster. Because uh, you can imagine uh, from a conservation point of view to leave the plaster under the mud for uh, two days, uh, three days, four days. Uh, you lose it. So it was uh, a running against time. So in the first week, uh, 10 days, we, we can say, we um, clean everything which was uh, fragile. And uh, what was uh, funny to say is that uh, this, uh, uh, the majority of uh, the museum of ceramics, uh, they didn't have uh, so much damages on ceramic, but on papers, of course, uh, the archives were lost. And uh, the ceramic moved 
in the space uh, together with the mud. So, uh, it's also very biblical in a way. <laughs> <laughs> that's very biblical. That's something uh, weird because uh, they were passing it through from one room to another and uh, they didn't, uh, they move. Just uh, we, we found them uh, 20 meters away. Uh, one was in a basket uh, of a bicycle, for example. Well, perfect, intact uh, on the roof uh, of a car. So, it, but they were entire, apart from uh, 60 pieces from the Museum Tramonti that were really damaged. And we recovered them in our uh, restoration department in the museum. And uh, the other um, action that uh, we, uh, we as museum uh, uh, took was uh, uh, to find uh, places for ceramists. So we have uh, uh, many younger ceramists that uh, were just opening their studio in Faenza and uh, they lost everything. They lost the houses, they lost uh, the studio, and uh, they cannot work. And uh, we have to find the places and uh, we host them uh, in a part of uh, the museum um, which was empty, which was uh, supposed to, uh, to be a space for uh, co-working in the near future. And so we started the project of co-working there with uh, hosting uh, three of them. And you're still hosting them? Yes. And is this also um, in kind of, it be, did it become part of your um, uh, short-term or mid-term or long-term strategy to host them on yes, your premises? Yes, for uh, some, some months uh, still uh, it will be. Yes, because uh, as I said, uh, it is uh, not, uh, uh, nothing stopped uh, on May. So it is still running uh, this story and uh, uh, we had still problem uh, in uh, in the city, so um, so it's uh, it was uh, um, very uh, common to react and uh, very easy to find colleagues to support in this uh, let's say strategy of uh, uh, emergency. So we create a kind of uh, emergency plan after the tragedy. Yeah. Okay. So when the tragedy itself was happening during that those two days, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. If it's long, if it was longer. And um, yesterday, one of the speakers uh, said it's in people's nature to make wrong decisions. And I was thinking about how that could um, play a role in those actual two days when a tragedy is happening. Um, can you reflect on 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 how people on the spot were? responding how, without having uh, a strategy, what happened and how, how could it lead to action without having the plan? Well, it is, um, a, I don't know if you have um, experience uh, of uh, people uh, who suffer this kind of tragedy, earthquakes uh, or flooding, uh, um, they are completely blocked. So they are frozen. So they are not able to react. So what is important uh, is uh, to give uh, a positive energy and uh, in a way to support uh, them uh, in their decision because they are not able to decide. And um, that happened also before, as you said, uh, without uh, taking the measures. Because uh, even if uh, we had uh, two days uh, of alert, uh, it was uh, not easy to understand that uh, the alert is the alert. Okay, it's, uh, I, I was in, I was telling you, uh, uh, I was in Japan in uh, 2015. And uh, it was the period of the typhoon, September, always period of typhoon. And, uh, Japanese people know that there is the typhoon, they don't go out. So the alert is red, they don't go out. And um, I think that uh, we still don't have uh, the, 
uh, emergency uh, in our mind. So if it is uh, red, is red. It is not uh, orange or yellow or light uh, white. It is red. So we need to um, install in the people the culture of emergency. Um, so we have to start uh, thinking that uh, Faenza, uh, what happened in Faenza, might happen everywhere. But we didn't learn anything from Faenza and the Romagna region. Because uh, two weeks ago it happens again in Tuscany. Which is very close to Faenza. Which is very close. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the, the president of the region was very uh, disappointed because he said, uh, we had the example of Faenza. I told you that it was red uh, emergency. So why? Didn't you do anything? So it's uh, a question, I think, of education. And, uh, uh, and also a question of uh, being prepared. Because uh, now we can uh, have uh, an idea of the alerts that are arriving. Last week I was in Dublin and uh, there was this alert for the wind. You know, Dublin is Ireland is always windy, but <laughs> big wind. <laughs> and uh, they didn't go out uh, till 10 in the morning because the alert was uh, from 6 to 10. So the school were closed, uh, people uh, were going later in the, um, to the work. So it's a question of education. So on the one hand, there is the mindset of the people that in case there is, we can trust the emergency alerts, in your opinion. We can trust these alerts, yeah. and then we have to take it seriously. And on the other hand, there is what we can do, um, being part of organizations or being responsible for organizations, if you are in the management, that's and so on and so yeah. on, to have a risk, uh, I'm sorry, an emergency plan yes. ready, but also in your mind, in, in not mind, in your yeah. computer, because you also <laughs> told me there was no power, no electricity, yes. and so on. So not in your mind, uh, not but on your computer, but yes. in your mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah and uh, the, the big problem uh, uh, of Faenza, what we suffered was the old people. You know, uh, in Italy, the house uh, is something special. So you don't leave uh, your house. And uh, old people uh, were forced taken away from the houses mm. uh, just uh, two hours before the big float arrived. And uh, so uh, there is this uh, link, this connection, uh, and uh, the few that people, uh, uh, we had uh, 13 uh, that people, uh, eight, nine of them were old, uh, and uh, they didn't want to leave uh, the houses and the animals. And they had, they had the farms. And uh, so, so it's uh, really a question uh, of uh, education and uh, taking seriously the risk. Thank you, Claudia. I, I want to open um, for any questions from the audience. We have time for one, perhaps two um, questions from the crowd. So if you have any questions for Claudia, this is your chance. Yeah, just uh, to say something uh, um, about uh, now that you are thinking about the question. Uh, so the, the, m the major problem was uh, for the papers, so the archives, uh, the libraries, uh, uh, which were really damaged. Uh, and uh, we found out a solution uh, for frozen them. Okay, in a big to freeze them. To freeze mm -hmm. them, yes, okay. sorry for no, to freeze them uh, in a large uh, fridge, refrigerator uh -huh. of a big mm -hmm. company mm -hmm. that offered the space uh, for this. And uh, yesterday, uh, there was um, somebody who said that we have to choose. Uh, that that was the worst part, because when you have an archive, when you have a library that is uh, 
very damaged uh, with this mud uh, that is entering uh, in all the, the, the pores of the paper, you have to choose uh, what to save and what not to save. And that was the worst part for all the directors of uh, the libraries. Because uh, um, when we made uh, this uh, plan uh, with the ICOM Italia for the earthquake, uh, for our museum, uh, we know that we have uh, to leave something and we have to take mm. something. So this is the other problem uh, of the people working in uh, a museum or a cultural uh, space. So have uh, the, the strength to leave and have the strength to say goodbye to things and uh, to save what is uh, saving. Thank you so much for this advice and also for... Um, Give a priority. For wishing us courage to yeah. be brave <laughs> enough to make these decisions. So if there's still a question from the audience, and if not... Yeah, in the dark. Usually at the museums there is a security plan if there will be a fire and so that who is taking something so that <coughs> it's, it's uh, an order kind of. So the libraries don't have that kind of. So that if there happens something, what do you take first? Well, um, for example, in Faenza they have a different section of the libraries uh, in Faenza or in Forlì, where there are uh, the precious uh, works uh, and uh, the uh, modern one. So the precious is uh, a, a room where everything is uh, uh, well uh, um, uh, safe, also from the fire, because uh, they have a system and a special one. And uh, but in in the case. Uh, of what happened during the flooding was that uh, it disappeared all the new one and uh, especially the newspapers of uh, the beginning of the 20th century. So, and uh, this uh, flooding gave uh, also the opportunity of uh, thinking about uh, the storage, of uh, thinking about the spaces. Because, uh, yes, the fire is something that uh, can be stopped uh, in a way, but uh, when you receive uh, uh, three meter and a half of mud inside uh, your spaces, uh, you cannot do anything. And you cannot enter also in the spaces. So it is uh, the action arrive later and because uh, of the impossibility to enter the spaces. I don't know if I answer you. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank you.